Ryan, just from your vantage point, why did it go so poorly in that first half and what made it impossible to, to, to stop the, the avalanche as it was coming? I mean, we, you know, we tried a bunch of different guys and we didn't, we didn't contain the basketball at all. And I mean, I, you know, I, I think they ran very few play calls. Literally, it was just wind up and penetrate and get in the paint, uh, get fouls, get layups, um, get open threes. Um, you know, you got, you got, you know, a guy and uh, Mike Muscala who, you know, had a career half right there. Um, you know, and he, he competed right there. Um, so, uh, yeah, you dig yourself a hole. You're not going to get, you're not going to uh, have very good, good opportunity at the end. And then how, how, just how big was, I mean, Nas coming right out of the, the, the break with, you know, I think 11 straight points for you guys. And then how, what did you kind of want to get on that last play? And did you like, like the look yeah. that you ended up with there? I mean, yeah, I mean, I like the layup, um, you know, and, you know, Nas is going to, he's going to be good for a long time. And I know he's hurting right now, missing that one, but he had, he had an unbelievable half. Um, you know, he, uh, we were content with the two or the three at that point, you know, we had, you know, options for both. Um, but, you know, going in, into Nas, you know, we thought that was a, a safety, um, you know, because he, he was so effective down there. Chase, go ahead. You found something in that first half, Ryan, is it not stopping the ball? Do you like, I mean, is it help or is it a combination of both things that, that make you end up with that kind of performance? Everything. There was nothing good defensively in that first half. Absolutely nothing. Then Dan McDaniel seemed like he was pretty good second half. Did you consider going back to him at all uh, late in the fourth? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I did. But you know, I, I liked uh, I liked Jake Jake's shot making ability right there. Um, you know, I thought I thought he was, yeah, I liked him. But it was it was between those two. Moving forward, can you see any possibility where Jake maybe ends up playing more three? Looking at who you're going to have coming back. Yeah, um, yeah, you, you could, but. Uh, you know, we'll just have to see how, how everything shakes out. Dane, go ahead. Yeah, Ryan, related to that with 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 Jaden and and there's been there's been other games too where you've prioritized maybe some of the older players playing at the end of the game. There is the is the idea kind of wanting to have the control there, or maybe that you just have more trust in some of the more veteran players, whether it's Rick, you know, Ricky in the San Antonio yeah. game or Jake tonight. Yeah. Yes and no. I mean, I. You know, it's, I don't. I don't look at guys' ages. You know, when I, you know, put them put them, you know, out there at the end of games. But um, I mean, uh, you know, I think that three guys could have played in that spot at the end: Jaden, J- Jalen, Noel, or or Jake. Um, so you know, what you know, you, you make a decision. And, but I don't think the going with with Jake Lehman, you know, it, it was the deal breaker by any means. And then defensively, you, you talked about before the game how. You know, by moving Josh out of the starting lineup, you were going to need to be better at controlling the, you know, the point of attack. And then you just talked about now how how that didn't happen. I mean, how do you how do you balance that going forward if Josh is your best at controlling the ball there? Well, in that first half, in that first half, you know, there was nobody who controlled the ball, even on the bench. So I don't care who you start right at that point. Um, control the ball. Rick, go ahead. Um, after uh, OKC called timeout when you were up six, they ran their offense almost exclusively through SGA for a while, which is obviously really hard, as you said, to uh, one they ISO out front. You started tra- trapping it very late. But is it hard? You know, you have to play and somewhere on that particular yeah. play. It's hard to match up differently, isn't it, in that sense? It is. And, and, you know, what, if we were able to get, you know, get a cross match and get Beasley on him right there, uh, we were going to look at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's hard, you know, for Ant, Ant's going to be really good in this league and, you know, he's, he's going to be a two-way player and uh, you know, he's, he's got to take that challenge. And, um, you know, I thought he had some, you know, good possessions defensively, but there's a number that we can work on too.